Monaghan Mushrooms sells 1,800 tonnes of mushrooms a week. We generate nearly 5,500 tonnes of compost a week. We take already waste materials such as wheat straw, gypsum, horse manure and chicken litter and we formulate those materials into mushroom compost. We recognise that the compost still contains valuable material and valuable components. As the compost can only be used for one to three harvests, used mushroom compost is currently disposed of, creating significant economic loss and logistical problems for mushroom farmers. To solve this issue, partners from the BioRescue project have created a new process to recycle used mushroom compost. En este proyecto pretendemos desarrollar un concepto de biorefinería innovador en el cual se van a obtener diferentes productos que resultan a su vez novedosos y sostenibles. With this new concept, farmers will have the possibility to convert used compost into biopesticides, natural fertilizers and biodegradable nanocapsules for drug or fertilizer delivery. Within the process, Mushroom compost is combined with other underutilized feedstocks such as wheat straw. Before the process starts, the composition of all materials is analyzed in only five minutes using novel dynamic modeling tools. Mushroom compost is separated into a solid and liquid fraction. Nutrients are then extracted from the liquid fraction to be used as fertilizer and mushroom enzymes are isolated for the next steps. The solid fraction is submitted to a thermochemical pretreatment process to extract lignin and sugar and cellulose. The lignin fraction obtained is used to create nanocapsules through a chemical conversion process. The cellulosic fraction is exposed to enzymes to break down the glucans into familiar sugars. The sugars are then used to develop new enzymes, but also fermented to produce a biopesticide. We want to look at developing a process that can deliver not only higher value products from what is a rich source of material, but that can also generate new revenue streams, in particular for rural-based farmers. Not only that, but the BioRescue project will feed directly into the circular bioeconomy.